All right, get those hands together. Keep it going for your next act. It's Peter J. How are you? Good to see you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thanks for having me. Lovely, lovely room full of scared, weird people. Uh, it's great to be here. Uh, I, I'm also from from Brisbane, which I heard you loved before. Uh, I, but I'm not. I'm not like originally from Brisbane. I live there now. I'm originally from Cairns. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're, we're we're allowed to look like this up there now. Do you know that? I've, this is what I've learned since I've been coming to Sydney. Every time I tell someone I'm from Cairns, no one believes me. Right? Because this isn't the face you guys associate with far north Queensland, is it? You know what I mean? <laughs> Little poet boy, you know? <laughs> you guys think Cairns, you think farmer, buff guy, hippie, not fucking Harry Potter and the Chamber of Commerce, but... <laughs> Here I am. That's what I'm working with. Love Sydney. It's great to be back in Sydney. I love Sydney. Love cocaine. Love Sydney. Um, fuck, man. Just the culture, man. The fucking... Cu get, that, get that culture up my set. I'll put that bridge. Deviate me, mate. I want to... I want to be here. I love it, man. Just fucking... I love it. I love Sydney. This is my second time coming and doing comedy in Sydney. Uh, first time I came, if I'm being honest, like 80% of the reason I came to Sydney was not for comedy. 80% of the reason I came to Sydney is, is, is a very stupid reason. Uh, and, and I'm not fucking around. This is the genuine reason I came to Sydney. 80% of the reason I came to Sydney last time is because I am a massive... Bondi Rescue fan, and I have I have been dying to see that beach since I was a kid, and I got to I got to fucking see, like I got to go, I got to be on set, I got to see it all, like that lifeguard tower, that's my fucking Taj Mahal, and I got to go and see it in person with my eyes. I love Bondi Rescue, so make some noise in the room if you have watched Bondi Rescue in your life. Right, make some noise if you watch it now. Yeah, <laughs> it always dies off that question. I watch it now. <laughs> I still watch it. Is that depressing? It feels depressing. The room feels sad for me. I lo I st I've watched every episode of Bondi Rescue on YouTube since 2007. How's your life going? You all right? <laughs> Fuck man, I love I love Bondo Rescue so much. What a what a show! What a pro I know it's dumb. I'm not denying that. I know it's a stupid show. It, I, I just sit I, I just sit there. Don't let the glasses fool you. I'm a fucking idiot. I know what I'm watching. It's just Big Bang Theory with sand. I understand what it is, and I like that. It's simple. It's a simple show. And I brought my girlfriend to Brisbane to pursue comedy from Cairns, her hometown. And I just sit and I still just watch Bondo Rescue just in a different room. And she goes, baby, do you want to just maybe shut the laptop for a second and we can explore our new home? And I say, baby, why the fuck would I want to do that when I can stay here and be taken back to the sweet times? <laughs> and, and the hot nights. And everything is okay in here. Everything's all right. I love Bondo. A simple show, 20-minute episodes, bang, bang, bang. You just bust through them. Very casual, very relaxing. And that's why I like it. It's calm, it chills me out. Because like, this is what I've decided, right? Bondi Rescue, compared to life, it's just better. <laughs> it's just so much better. Like, it'll never... Like, life, this thing we're doing right now, unpredictable. You know, anything can happen in life. Bondi Rescue. <laughs> I've got a pretty fair fucking idea. I know what's going to happen in the next 20 minutes. It's usually much the same thing every single time. The same... <laughs> It's the same five things on every single episode. The same... For, I've written a list. It's the same five things on every single episode of Bondi Rescue. Now, did I hear, when I asked if someone watches it now, did I hear one lonely little clapper? Where were you? Make some noise if you watch it now. There we are. Is that you there in the glasses? Hello. Lovely to see you. Do you live in Sydney? What a depressing life you live. But, um... <laughs> I was watching this in Cairns. There's not much to do. You could have just gone. But, um... 
Yeah. Yeah, cool. Well, I'll look at you as a barometer for whether or not this list is accurate, okay? So just not along, no auditory response, just not along uh, if this list is accurate. The five things that happen on every single episode of Bondi Rescue without fail, starting here. Number one, someone gets caught in a rip. <laughs> Could be anyone. From, it, from, from anywhere. <laughs> any, um, any continent? Um, uh, no, hey, look, okay, look, anyone can get caught in a rip. It's very dangerous. Okay, uh, the, the very dangerous thing a rip will get you is vacuum. You know, you're in there, it takes you out, fuck it. You know, you're in, you've got to swim parallel. It's the only way, you, it's a fucking thing. It's a real, anyone can get caught in a, in a rip. Uh, could be local. <laughs> could be, could be a, not once, 14 seasons. But the point is, um, <laughs> Point is, anyone can get that's accurate. A rip does not discriminate, but there's a portion of you that do. Uh, <laughs> number two, number two, someone spots a shark. It's always a dolphin, but similar body types. <laughs> number three, someone uh, hurts himself in the skate park. That's not a wave, dickhead. Get out there. <laughs> number four, someone loses a kid. They always find them. What a shame. And number five. Um, Number five, and this is my personal favourite, um, someone's being a little pervy on the beach. <laughs> that's a fucking... That's a good episode. <laughs> Nothing makes me laugh more than a man getting caught metal detecting with an erection. That is fucking funny. So that's my primary hobby, watching Bondi Rescue. My girlfriend fucking hates it. But I'm not thrilled about her hobbies either, to be honest. Like, she likes gardening. Like, make some noise if you like gardening in the room tonight. That's awesome, but I'm going to have to ask that you get a better life because gardening, I can't stress to you how much I fucking hate it. Like what I've said to her, and I don't really have input, I don't, it's her house, she owns it, I, I can't say what to do with the backyard, but I'm like, why do we not get rid of this garden and get some chickens? Because, oh my God, I've, I've, th I've thought about having chickens my whole life. and Because I, like, I feel, compared to a veggie garden, like so many ways to utilise a chicken compared to veggies, you know what I mean? Like a chicken, you can hang out with it. <laughs> you can eat its eggs and you can eat it. <laughs> That's three ways to utilise a chicken. Vegetables, you can eat them and you can fuck them. That's all you can really... <laughs> Actually, fuck, that's four things you can do with a chicken. Isn't that a? There are so many ways... There are so many ways to utilise a, chick a chicken. <laughs> See how chicken fucking goes on TikTok. All right, bye now. See you later. Bye. Give it up.